Okay, I'm starting to record. Okay, everybody, let's um, talk about Windows 10. I've been using Windows 10 for a while now. Have a new computer. This is computer's a few months new, old, <laughs> however you want to say it. I have an Asus desktop PC. It's 64 bit. I have Windows 10 Home. I have the Windows 10 Fall Creators Update on it and everything else. And I was kind of a rant, I guess. Um, sometime after I got that update, the Windows 10 Fall Creators Update, my computer uh, randomly restarts for no freaking reason. And then sometime after that, I got the blue screen of death. It's this thing right here. And then, mind you, I got I got the Fall Creators Update in October. Yeah, because this has to do with your um, display or video drivers, because it says thread stuck in device driver. I'm pretty sure that's has what it has to do with it. I think I fixed it. I can't tell you how, but I think I did. And people have been ranting how Microsoft still don't let people control how they want to update their Windows 10 computer. But you can slow it down and stop it momentarily momentarily even in Windows 10 home okay so what you can do to do that is you um, click on the little Windows logo and then you click on Windows update and then what you gotta do I don't know why I clicked on Windows update I don't want that I want to click on home oh so I clicked on Windows update so I just click on home just get to the home part okay so then anyway you click on settings okay so then you want to click on network and internet and then you click on your ethernet or whatever it is you have and then you click on your internet connection okay and then you want to change it to uh, public, your PC is hidden from other devices on the network and can't be used for printer or file sharing. So you want that, you want that right there. The metered connection, and it says if you have a limited data plan and you want more control over data usage, make this connection a metered network. Some apps might work differently, like Windows Update for example, to reduce data usage when you're connected to your net this network. I have this set off for right now. But when the Windows 10 Fall Creator update tried to install on my PC on around October 17th or October 18th or something like that, I believe it's October 18th, yes, 18th or 19th, it didn't try to download and install on its own and it just couldn't do it. So I had to find a way to install that. And so I Googled. Um, on Google how to do that and I came across this article which the link I did not save but basically you go down you turn this on okay you click over here you turn it on and what you, what happens is is that it slows down Windows Update and uh, Windows Update will grab certain updates if it's set in the on position and meter connection and so it will only update the most important updates like the fall creators update when you're not in meter connections so if you turn it on it slows it down and stops it momentarily and if you're ready to have <laughs> the big ass windows updates you just turn this thing back off restart your computer and go to windows update and do a manual update and there you go you know what i mean that's what you do and if i'm not clear on that don't ask me to explain it again. <laughs> See, now let's jump to the next thing. So how many minutes I'm going to take this? Four minutes? That's not too bad. Okay, something else I'm going to uh, bitch about is going to settings again. Let's go into settings here. Did that right the first time now. Second time, I mean. We're going to go into apps. Uninstall defaults optional features apps. Let's click on that stupid shit. This part really annoys me. Microsoft, I mean, I understand why some of the apps are built into Windows 10, but there's some apps that I don't believe should be built into Windows 10 at all. A lot of the stuff I installed myself, so that's why it looks like a very long list. Because I use programs that are not Windows 10. You know, some of them anyway. Xbox. 
Okay? You, you see the grayed out areas? You can't uninstall Xbox, Xbox unless you use the PowerShell method. And I'm not going to do that because you might screw up your PC anyway. But Microsoft should leave this just as a regular app for people who want to use your Xbox on their computers. They sh it should not be built in. You should be able to uninstall it if you don't own an Xbox. I don't own an Xbox. I'm never going to own an Xbox. And it, even if I did, it would be connected to my TV, not my computer. Sorry. So, Microsoft, you're an idiot. See, what else can I not un uninstall that I think should be allowed to uninstall? I love the stuff I installed myself. Tiny spell because I can't spell your shit. <laughs> sticky notes. The Windows 10 sticky notes. If I wanted to have, this should not even be a built in app. It should be a regular app. You should be able to uninstall it. Sticky notes, really? Okay, uh, you think I can do that now? Huh. Oh, well, I guess that's a necessary built in app photos. It's always been that way. Oh, people. What the hell is this people shit? I'm not a people person. What the hell is this even used for? You can't uninstall it. What the hell? That's another thing I don't like. People. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> I don't like people. That's funny. Okay. Paint 3D is actually pretty cool. I don't mind that. It's really part of the paint app, but separate at the same time. A lot of the shit I installed myself. Um, okay, movies and TV, I guess that's okay. Um, I never really use it, but I think that's okay. Um, we should be able to uninstall it, though. It should be just a regular app. It's kind of stupid to be built in, to be honest with you. Windows Store, I actually think that's necessary. But then again, even though I think this is necessary, it should still be just a regular app, not a built-in. Microsoft Edge, typical, typical browser bullshit built-in crap. <laughs> we should be able to uninstall that too, even though it's necessary. Messaging, okay, messaging. This is bullshit. We should be able to uninstall this. This should not be built in. You know, this should be a regular app. Maps. Do you see me carrying my desktop everywhere? Everywhere I go, stick it inside a, I don't know, a car or something like that. Maps, really? That should be just a regular app. It should be allowed to uninstall. But nope, it's not stupid again. Mail and calendar. Well, that should, I don't know what to think of that, but. I think we should be able to uninstall that too if you want to. But then again, it's a necessary thing. I guess it's part of the bullshit. Find stuff. Groove music. Oh, groove music. There you go. We got groove music. You know, um, we can install our own music software. Thank you. I don't know what this is for. I should try it out, but. I don't use it. It should be able to be uninstalled. It should be just a regular app. Uh, GitHub. Well, that might be necessary. Oh, we can uninstall the feedback hub. That's funny. Oh, thank goodness for that. <laughs> what else is there? What else is there? Bullshit. The Windows Camera app. That should be something we should be able to uninstall if you want to. This should be a regular app, but nope, it's not. It's built in. That's necessary. But yeah, a lot of shit. I mean, it's just so dumb. Uh, video playback. 
I have that shit turned off. I mean, so much stuff that don't really need to be running in the background. See, that's another thing. Shit that runs in the background. <laughs> um, where's that at? Um, oh. No. Maybe this is it. No, it can't be it. Oh, personalization, maybe? Uh, Dookie dookie. I know. I know there's gotta be bullshit in there. I don't know. I know where it's at. I still want to find it. It'll be a long enough for me to record it. But yeah. Yeah. It's just bullshit. I do like this, um. I do like this, though. And I guess. If you turn this little micro thing on for this app right here, um, you can talk and it'll type what you're as you're talking. Some bullshit like that. I don't know, but I have not used it yet. Turned it on or anything. I just use it as a regular little uh, clicky clicky thing for the emojis. <laughs> Typical me. Uh, that's it, people. What do you think? Oh, what the hell? Oh, that was weird. Anyway, whatever, Windows 10 rant, <laughs> whatever. Oh, it's 11 minutes. Better stop.